Water back in the building, baby. Water back in the building. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm out here at the trust of the day. I got my son with me. I got one of my friends coming out, Tori. Uh, TB, if you hear me call him in the video, I used to call him TB. Today we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook on whatever we catch today. Just bought a little grill. Uh, it's a lot of grass up there. You gotta you can't just throw it right there and let it drag across a lot of grass. But we're going to try to catch whatever we can catch today. And we're going to cook. We got the season, the onions, the bell peppers, the aluminum foil, the pans. We got all that. It's been a while since we've been out here. The water was so low. I mean, it was low. There wasn't no water in here. You can see now how the rain have brought it up. It's a lot of bait fish running around. It's a lot of grass and stuff everywhere. So it might be set up for some big fish to hide in some of these spots, the ambush fish. Bass, stripers, or some nice brims or specks. That's what we're looking for. Maybe even some catfish if we get it. Uh, whatever. Try to try to throw over there. Straight out in the middle. I got my son with me, man. There goes CJ. He's trying to get back into the rhythm, trying to get him on the right, the right track. You know, hopefully we get something out of this. But, you know, like I said, we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook on this day, man. Hope y'all enjoying the Labor Day weekend. It's been the first time I done got off in a while, so we out here today. We out here. So whatever we catch, catch, clean, and cook, baby, on the spot. We're going to do it right here today before we leave. We're going to eat something good. We ain't bring no food. We brought some turkey burgers. Not burgers, some turkey hot dogs. But love bugs. But I ain't gonna talk your head off, man. We're gonna get to it, man. I'm gonna let y'all check him out while he casting. You gotta jig it. There you go. Jig it. Don't let it hit the bottom. Oh, now that's something big. Oh, now that was probably a big bass right there. That was probably a mandingo, boy. Woo-hoo. But enough of that. We're gonna get to it. Quick update. Just got the grill fixed. My son just caught a bass off a White House fly. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I got everything set up so when it's time, to do the, the, the clean and cook, everything's ready to go. Um, a lot of bait fish in the water and it's a lot of wild shiners that run around here too so try and grab some of those at the same time but we got much man but we just brought a couple things out you know like i said we're gonna try and we're trying to make it something you know just to hang out and day man you know start doing that more often with these videos and catch clean and cook videos And so we got the turkey sausages, just in case. But you know, we do got one fish. Like I said, my son did catch one, so y'all stay tuned, man. I give y'all a picture with him uh, when I get back up there by the water. That heat finna tear his ass up. See, water on deck, bingo, reels, got the, the new hammock chair, that's, 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 that's I, I had to, I caught that at the pawn shop, man, that was brand new, $35 I think you gave it for me for, got the grill ready, got the bread, got everything set up, hot sauce, mustard, you know, you can't have hot sauce and mustard and fish, you gotta have all three, can't go without that. Got new toys we're gonna try out today, man. Savage gear. Holla at me. Bombers. All water, baby. Blue bombers. I told y'all them bombers. That's it done. And we got the bass that my son caught just a second ago. I haven't started fishing yet. Uh, but I'm finna start now. I was trying to get some footage with him. 
so I wouldn't miss him. Go ahead. I'm gonna get a couple clips of you casting that thing out, man. Oh, ooh. That was a nice blow up. Boy, that might have been a striper. You got to jig it, son. See, dog? You reeling it straight across. It might hit top water. When you jig it, let it, let it drop for a second. Count one Mississippi. There you go. Now when you throw it back, hurry up. It's a hole right over there towards that middle over there. It's a little drop over there. Wherever you blow it up at, go towards the trees though. Let it drop for a second. Not jig. There you go. You keep going how you doing, what you're doing. Keep doing yeah, just throw the little jig in there. See, they blowing up over there on the other side over there. I just had a bite. That joker snatched a whole worm off the hook. Now to my he he slammed it. Boom. Now whatever it was, I don't know if it spit it back out or kept it. I got a I got a privacy screen protection. I gotta take this thing off, man, because I can't even see the video. Dang. That's wasted wasted money. That's what that is. That's called wasted money, baby. But I got a better view. I see some garfish. I'm just letting that worm flow, ride, ride the waves. I don't see no blow ups in the canal. Yeah, you know, usually when them, when them uh, stripers come through, they'll be blowing up, but they usually be back towards the mouth in the afternoon. Oh, man. That felt like something hit that thing right then. Up to my own to drop. Yeah, that's a lot of bait fish in the water, man. A lot. I know where I probably can catch a bag. I'm going I'm to show you something. It's almost a guaranteed bad spot out here is over there. You go over there and throw that that worm or shad over there. And bass will blow it up quick. I, I was gonna try and throw a swim bait, but um what it was was it's too much grass over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my son go do it and gonna see if we can get him on camera. I ain't gonna tell him. There's probably a bass over there. We're going to see if he can do it himself. But I want to see the water laid down, so I really want to try some top water, though, to be honest. Hey, oh, I got one. I got a man. Oh, I got a nice one. 
That's a nice bass right there. That's a nice bass right there. Don't jump, don't jump. I hope it's a bass and not a mud minnow. A mud fish, I mean. That's a bass. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. <laughs> look at that sucker. Oh man, look at that. Daddy fat sacks. That's a nice bass, man. It's a good size. About a about a three, four pounder. He's slim. He got some weight on him, but he's slim. He ain't, he ain't really fat like that. But that'll be my fish for the day for the catch, clean, and cook. I mean, he look big, but he ain't really that big like that. But he is a he is a nice chug. Oh, you got one? Oh, you on the bottom, son. You on, you on that rock, probably. Hold on, I'll shake it off because I don't want you to lose him. Hold him up so you can get a better they can get a better view of him. There you go. Hold him down, son. You gotta hide your face. You just hold, you, you, that's how you hold a fish when you do it. There you go. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we got two bass for the clean and cook. Not great big bass, but nice size eating bass. That's what we talking about, baby. We both got one on the board, baby. Pull it out the way it went in. There you go. Hold them up. So you take this. You got about five bass. My son got two. I caught two. Tor caught one. We got the grill going. Gonna go down here and bust a couple of them up. We're gonna get to it, baby. Got down filleting them out, soaking them in water. Apple cider vinegar. Got about five, six bass in there. Might get them on, might. Because we complete seasoning. Yeah, it's lightning. It's time for me to get out of here. Got a whole bunch of seasoning. Let's go down. Keep going. To be continued. We're in the middle of the catch. Clean and cook. Caught some nice bass, man. But as you see, you hear on the video, it was thunder and lightning, like like stupid, rain like crazy right now. Me and my son, my boy Tory, in the van, the truck next to the uh, seat back there, man. I got the grill. I got to keep it open because the grill hot. I just cleaned the fish. Just filleted the fish out, man. Just was getting ready to season everything. We got the seasoning done. I cleaned them. I cleaned them with some. I'm just gonna be explaining because I ain't gonna be able to do it. Wow, because you know, like I said, it's coming down. So hopefully it'll stop and we can continue. Maybe catch some more bass. I think we caught. I think I caught. We caught. How many bass you caught, boy? Oh, oh, oh. Caught three. My son caught three, I caught two. I think Tori caught two. Two, but he put one back too. He caught a nice one. I think Tori caught two, two keepers. He put one back. He got about six, five or six bass, I think. Let me know if he put one back too. It did, the rain, you see right there. Couldn't even get like footage, you know. I wanted to, rain coming. I did manage to clean the fish. Hold this. Okay, so you can see it right here. I did clean the, clean the bass on the creek. Water, 
Season them up. Got the onions and bell peppers cut up. Got some lemon to throw the lemon juice on top. I got some more lemons to cut up. Uh, we just gonna grill them down. You know, steam them on up. Uh, depending how how my latches open, I might get the grill started back up. Bring it like that. I'm just showing you that's what you know we was bringing to the table today. You know, black bass, not no real big bass, but I'm gonna throw the pictures in on me and my son caught some. I couldn't, like I say, I think I got footage of one, the big one I caught about 16, 17 inches somewhere up in the, the biggest one we had. They might have been 18 inches. He's he a pretty big boy. Uh, Sampson Lake, man, running the Roswell, I think Roswell or something like that. Uh, but the bass was biting decent, you know, in the evening time, you know, they pick up. But like I said, we got two, two a piece. And I was able, I talked, I did talk to the FWC to find out if it was true and if it wasn't true. I told them what I was doing, YouTube video, a catch, clean, and cook on the creek. What we catch, what we gonna eat. So that's what that's what the plan was today. I've seen a lot of people. You know, shout out to Blue Gabe and Jimmy. Um, also, you know, Zach, uh, Catch Em All, uh, and Monster Mike. You boys, you know, I did a long time ago to do that catch, clean, and cook. They big on that on YouTube. Y'all check them boys' channels out. Y'all ain't big on it. Like find a few that fish like those guys right there. They catch a lot of fish. Really big. Shout out to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what we're trying to do. And like it's still coming out. But the bet, it, what I have noticed, it ain't thundering and lightning like it was. Cause it was like you're here on the video. It was boom, it was boom. And like right in front of us. So you know when the thunder, lightning, lightning, and thunder. When you see the lightning and you hear the thunder right after that, that means that shit is close. Now, if you see the lightning and you don't hear the thunder until later, I mean, it's kind of distant off. That's just what I can I was wondering how it was getting wet over here. <laughs> anyway, me and my son out here, man, catch clean and cook. We was trying to get some strikers. We still might. I lost, I had, I had lost a 10 pound plus. I said 10 pound plus, that means it was 10 bigger. It was bigger than 10, but I can't say what he was beyond 10 because, I mean, he slammed it, took drag, and broke me off. I mean, monster, monster bass. Uh, hopefully we get back out there. I was cleaning fish while everybody else was still fishing. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't get, I probably cast a reel 15 times at the most. And trying to keep this guy right here motivated. So anyway, man, I've got a, by the time I drop this video, it might be two years back to that I hope y'all like the video. And I come back to you, hopefully, hopefully, sometime the way we can get to this. But I hope you like the video. Get a video, a thumbs up, subscribe, like the channel, YouTube the channel, subscribe, like the channel, post notifications, and follow me, and follow me, and follow me, and follow me, and follow me. And tell somebody else to follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Tell somebody that knows 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 somebody. somebody, 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 somebody. That might be a little bit sufficient. That's what we're doing, baby. I'm trying to get. 150 videos in. I'm on a road to a thousand. I need a thousand subs, man. I'm like at 460, but I'm thankful. I just started, so I can't eat trip. But I'm on the road, I think I got like 460, 460, right now. So it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Gotta get a lot more videos. The rain, it's raining. It's rain. been raining every day for like the last two months almost. Like this spot, if I can show you. I'm gonna show you the spot where we're fishing at right now. You see how high the water is right now. And I'm gonna tell you no lie, it was probably an eight foot drop. Eight foot drop. You can literally walk across this place. And you can see everything in the water. I've never seen it like that before. I gave me that Lake Mead, you know, that Lake Mead mentality. That Lake Mead done dry. But anyway, I'm gonna talk your head off, man. We're gonna try and wait this thing out, man. It's 516 right now. I mean, it, it's gray. It's gray, you feel me? It's still raining. You know, it ain't let up. Get a good look at that out there. And it's Sunday, day before. Matter of fact, if it don't stop, you know, we don't, we'll continue this tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow. On one job, anyway. But they ain't gonna talk your head off, man. I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. Stay tuned and watch this part, man. Give it your thumbs up, man. Salute to uh, that ball fishing. Y'all can follow my guy.
that ball fishing. That means that bald head. T H A T B A L D. I'll try to put this channel in uh, notifications down below. Not notifications, but in the description. Sorry about that. And y'all can tune into more videos from me and my son and Tori. This guy ain't got no beard yet. And matter of fact, I got some new merch coming. Yes. I'm glad I thought about that. I got some new merch on the way. Long sleeve, sunproof shirts with the hoodie, with the pockets in the front. None of the thumbs on the sleeves. We ain't doing that. I tried to get the ones with the face shield, man. I just don't know what I've been going through. A lot of people ain't making stuff that once was making stuff. They don't make stuff like in the man. That's what they told me. That's like six different companies. Uh, I talked to some people out in California to get them hats. You know, uh, it's, been, it's been hard. And that, I'm going to tell you why the merch thing for me. This is me. This is just me. You might feel different. This is just me. The guy was charging me like $29 a hat. And it's like, I don't feel I'm at the area where I'm going to charge me $30 a hat. You know, I, I did, the hats I did buy and sold for $20, $25 or something. I just sold, I didn't make no money off that stuff. I sold it just to sell it as I was, as it was sold to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, unfortunately, everybody got a price. You know, it's like, I was trying to set up something with people for long-term business, but the prices they hit me with, then I talk to other people, they got different prices. Just when I get to people, they just want to go over there. I know, like I said, everybody got a price. So I didn't make no money off this stuff, man. I didn't, I didn't even get a deal. So, things out of my pipe. Um, I just felt like I just sell it for the world the same price that I got. Um, I if I charge $40 for that, it's not even charge you like that, you know what I'm saying? Different if I was like Tommy Hill figure, you know, something like that. You know? But I ain't want to even talk this long, man. So anyway, bye. So we were able, I was able to get the fire back started. Rain slowing down. You see him at the back of the, it's, it's everywhere right now. We still got the turkeys, turkey to go on with the fish. Y'all look at this, man. We, we, we doing, we don't went ghetto now, but we still, we still trying, baby. We still pole pimping. Main important thing, the rain stopped and we got the coals going back. So it might turn out to be all right. But, oh, let me move this for this. I burnt my line up. Got my reels all hot. But it's coming. It's coming along, baby. So we're going to complete the video look like. Thank God, you know what I'm saying? So my boy just, you can't, I don't know if you can see through the, my son and my, and my boy Tori, TB out there at the, they, uh, TB just caught a big, nice stripe. And my son took off. He got to go get him one. So, I'm proud of the kid today, man. He been slamming him some nice bass. So, hopefully, you know, he get back in the rhythm of things. And I can get over there and get some shots. I couldn't get none really good of me. Because I've been trying to set everything up. You know how that go when you're trying to do something. Everybody else, you know, going to be doing the opposite. But uh, it's all good. It's all love, baby. Can't give y'all an update. You know, we got the the avocado, the lemon juice ready to go. We got the turkey dogs. Let's let's check what we looking like. It's, we smoking finally. We smoking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We looking good. We looking good, baby. Oh yeah. We looking good. Smelling good too. Smelling good. We gonna eat this thing with some bread because we ain't have time. To do everything I wanted to do. Yeah, you see, look, I had to pack everything all in real quick and just throw stuff here and there because of the rain came. It sound like it's thundering, like it done turned back around from what the radar say, man. But we got our trash right here. Always take your trash, which number one rule 
when you fishing. Take your damn trash with your ass. But we're gonna drop that stuff off in there. Everybody gonna get a fish sandwich. Even some guys that's out here fishing. I'm gonna see if they wanna get a fish sandwich or something. Like I see, we still smoking, baby. We smelling good. We got the seasoning for the avocado. Man, it's gonna go down, man. That's the last piece of the bass that we did today for the catch, clean, and cook. So I got his in. I caught a few. The boy TB Tour caught some. Fresh. That's what we're gonna start doing. Catch, clean, and cook on the water. On the water. He, this boy don't even eat onions and bell peppers like that. And fish, you know, that fish straight out the water, that's a different type of fresh. That fish still got water on it. So, you know, that's going to include the video. Boom. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Next episode. Let's see. I might make another video tomorrow, but it probably won't. We might go with some stripes. We ain't catch no stripers. But, you know, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Like I say, boom. Look at that. Look at that. Hot. <laughs> hot. Fresh off the grill. That shit hot, boy. But, you know, today's video, I let y'all know I use complete seasoning, Danos. I used a little, uh, a little old bay, garlic, garlic, onion, pepper, and a little herb. That was it. And that, that make them boys, oh, uh, see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, so you see, it's gone. We had, Eight, eight fish filleted. Eight fish filleted. We ain't even get to the... I thought, you know, people weren't even gonna want the turkey. The turkey, uh, hot dogs. That's it. Straight fish. We out.